Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while, but I'm here with more of the Ultimate Doom walkthrough on the Ultra Violence difficulty for the PC, played through Z Doom. I'm Big Mac Davis, and this is Episode 3, Mission 5 Unholy Cathedral. So, when you start, there are many doors in this starting room and each door will take you to a different place in this map. But we're going to open up the far left door first. And there's a secret to our left right off the bat. So let's go inside. Now, the area where this lost soul comes from, that area counts as the secret area. Back out here, open up the next door, but have your rocket launcher ready. Three rockets takes care of most, if not all, of the imps inside. Open up the door in front of you now. And in this area... You know what? We're gonna use the chain gun. I might as well, since I have enough bullets. And I really love the faces in this map. The faces of pain and anguish and horror. So cool and yet so scary. There's a couple of cacodemons over here in this alcove. So kill them both with the rocket launcher. Then grab the items, well the, the ammo mainly, from these alcoves. One more cacodemon right here. Now these three doors will come back later, but for right now we'll head to this wooden door and open it up. Now they give you five rockets here, so we might as well use them on the demons in the next room. And you can just use the chain gun on the rest of them that live. This is a secret area, grab the soul sphere and plasma from this area. But we're locked in this room, but thankfully this switch will reopen that door so you can escape. Now we'll go back to those three doors. Now these two doors will take you to the same room. Doesn't matter which one you go through. Now the passageway on the left will come back later. So for right now we'll open up the next door to our right. Turn left and follow the passage down to kill the demon. Alright, now there's a secret area back over here. It's on this wall right here. Be quick across the poison because it does hurt. We'll ignore that area over there, by the way, for right now. Now this contraption right here. Face the silver wall there and then walk through this red area. That will lower that down so you can enter inside. I just kill the specters from this vantage point. Then when both of the specters are dead, I rush in and hide in an alcove to hide from the lost souls. So I can just peekaboo shoot them to death. It's not that difficult to do. Makes this room a little bit easier. Especially for lost souls. So with this cleared out, face the silver area where you came from, turn left, and notice that there's a switch there, but be careful of the crushing ceiling. This will open up all the side passages, so you can grab the items and weapons, but only the rocket launcher counts as the secret, so be sure to grab the rocket launcher if you want the secret. Alright, to the left of that switch that we flipped is another switch behind another crushing ceiling. That will lower down the blue key. To the left of the blue key is another switch, which this one will lower down the chain gun. So now we'll exit back out of this room, but be careful to the right is a Baron of Hell that will be released. So be careful of that. Now go back into the room, and the last crushing ceiling has a teleporter behind it. So we're going to take it with our BFG equipped. Fire it at these demons, then grab the Berserk Pack and finish off the rest of them. It's not that difficult. Alright, so once everybody's dead, grab the items from around this area if you want. 
And now we'll open up the left door here. I'll use the chain gun on all these enemies. The invisibility that I just picked up can come in handy for this area because the imps will most likely miss you and the lost souls will charge in the wrong direction. Now this blue door will skip for right now and will come back when the map is almost over. But for right now we'll open up the door on the right. Now these four teleporters will all take you to the same room but be careful this baron will open up. Now this is the troubling part about this map and the most annoying. We have to open up these four walls around us with corresponding teleporters and we have to go find those. To do that we'll have to find a wall Aha, the Baphomet wall. It's the only wall that has a Baphomet. Turn left and take these four teleporters back to this demon area, and then go through the right door, then the left door. And then take these teleporters. You see what I mean now? We gotta go hunt down these teleporters so we can open up these barren rooms. Alright, so, once again, go and find the Baphomet wall, then turn left and take the teleporters again through the right door. Follow this familiar passage down, we've already been here, and open up the right door. Now we'll take this passage that we skipped earlier. Go across the uh, slime opening there to open up this wall. Kill the demon. Now the floor over there is damaging, so work quickly. Run to the right, open up the wall in between those blue things, and grab the radiation suit. That will protect you from the damaging floor. Then you can just kill the rest of the enemies very easily that way. Grab the energy cell pack from here as well. Now this teleporter. Have your BFG ready. Another wall opens up with three cacodemons. Grab the yellow key from whence they came. Now this yellow key we have to find a wall now that has writing above it, or a foreign type of writing. To the right of that wall is a wall that you can open up. At long last we have the chainsaw, finally, in map 5 of this episode. But we won't use the chainsaw for right now. Find the Baphomet wall again and head into the left teleporters. Take the right door, follow the passage down again, Take the right door, turn left, and open up this door. Follow this passage down, and we'll open up the left door, but have your BFG ready. For the final wall, and one more Baron of Hell. Now this invulnerability, we'll save it for later on. For right now, we have to find that Baphomet wall again, go through the teleporters again, and then open up the left door. Now we'll go through the blue door that we skipped. Now there's the exit. We could exit now, but we have some things to do. Approach this wall and it will open automatically. Ignore this imp. Do not fire a shot. Open up this wall. Grab the stuff from this room. Then flip the switch. And now you can fire a shot. Because then look what happens. Go back out the blue door, turn right, and go through the door. Now we can grab the invulnerability and go back through those same teleporters yet again. Take the left door and back to the blue door. He must have followed me out. But yes, they'll all teleport in, in mass. So it's a good idea to get the invulnerability then use the BFG on all the teleporting enemies. Well, this is not gonna work. Kill that Baron, make sure he, he he's one of the first ones to die. I'll just use my fist, since, uh, since I can. There shouldn't be too many of them left alive. Um, okay, apparently there are a lot of imps left. You guys didn't all teleport at once like you usually do. And you have to be careful, because sometimes these enemies will not spawn in all at once. I'm 
trying to listen for any more imps. I, that may be all of them. I'm hoping. Nope, I still hear somebody. Okay, come on. Come on, I don't want to have time for this. Really? There you are, my goodness. Now, is that everybody? Maybe. I'm gonna guess yes. I'm hoping yes. We'll grab the items from this room again, and I'll assume everybody's dead. We'll go to the exit, and we'll find out, won't we? Oh, gosh. Oh. Thank goodness. Okay, that is everybody. Uh, yeah, I don't like this map very much. It's confusing. It's got a lot of passageways and a lot of teleporters. And the most annoying part of this map is actually... Well, first of all, memorizing this map is not fun. Second of all, going through the appropriate teleporters to open up those four walls with the Barons of Hell inside, that's pointless and it's a waste of time. I don't like it, and I don't like this map as a whole. I think it's I think it's appropriately designed for, you know, a cathedral with winding passageways, but unfortunately for me, the concept idea doesn't really work. It's an okay map, it's just a little bit confusing and, you know, a bit tedious because you have to find the appropriate teleporters to open up the barons of hell. Apart from that, not much else to say about this map. It's it's a mediocre map. So we'll move on to Episode 3, Mission 6, Mount Erebus, in the next video. My favorite map in all of Ultimate Doom. So we'll see that next time, everybody. I'm Big Mac Davis. Take care, everybody.